standing in here. I'm at the what they what is called the Native American Healing Waters, yes, in Willow Springs. This is an actual site, and right now we're looking at the plaque presented in 1984 by the Swallow Cliff Chapter National Society of Daughter, Daughters of the American Revolution. Commemorates the site where hundreds of years before the white settlers came, the Potawatomi and other Indian tribes in the Midwest are sought out the sacred land of the healing waters because of the many springs thought to possess recuperative powers. They knew they had reached it when they came upon a formation of large boulders arranged in a north to south direction in the area now known as Willow Springs. A circle of builders contained the ceremony, ceremonial internal flame kept burning by the Mascotten Society, a religious group. The Indians came to this place to be cared for until healed, dedicated June 27, 1982 by the Willow Springs Historical Society. Okay, this is an actual location. This is an actual plaque dedicated to the Native Americans and the healing waters. Willow Springs is known for being a property or land of the Native Americans at one time. These are the waters, as you can see. And where it talked about the boulders, let me back up on this. Okay, this is the boulders also that they're talking, north to south direction, okay? And there's the springs, there's the water again. And this must be the area where the internal flame would have been burning. So, just a little bit of history. Oh, what's the paranormal background of this? It has been said that once in a while at night, people can hear drums, like Indian drums, and some chanting in this area. So this is why I bring it to you. We're in Willow Springs. Aha, that's for investigators and that to find out. Do your investigation. I'll just give you a clue. It's near German Church Road. So, that's that. This is Edward Shanahan, The Unexplained World or edwardshanahan.com with this location Native American Healing Waters in Willow Springs it actually exists proof of it and proof that this is sacred land Willow Springs okay viewers what I'm walking upon is a uh, Shanahan here what I'm walking upon is what used to be the area in Willow Springs where the Native Americans would fur trade with the white settlers. Okay, this is Columbus Woods, as it's called, and you can see the canal, or you can see the area, the river that they would come down and they would use to trade. Okay, very spiritual area. Um, I come down here sometimes to recharge myself very spiritual very laid back very comfortable location but this is where the native americans and the fur traders would come together and conduct business so as you can see the very long long river and you can even canoe through here if you wanted to. So. That's this area. Well, viewers, what we're looking at now is land. that used to be Indian land, Native American land. Uh, so woods here in Willow Springs. All you have to do is pick up the book, the Willow Springs Histor Historical Society book, okay? Very good book. Matter of fact, they don't they, they don't hide nothing. Uh, they talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between as far as what went on in Willow Springs. It's by the Historical Society Willow Springs. But yeah, it's uh this used to be Native American land. I uh, in the past I've wandered around in here, um, and then you know you get your feelings that maybe you shouldn't be 
going as steep or as far as you as I was going. But uh, this this is Native American land. I'm not gonna follow any trails or anything like that. I'm just giving you a view that this can go on and on and on and on. This whole thing of land here. Plus, the sun is starting to, to set somewhat. So, the rules are out by sunset. Here, viewers, is an area that is very not well known, but I know of it. It's like stepping back in time, these buildings in this area. Oh, it's within my area of where I live. I'm not going to say where. It's for the investigators. Those that know, know. Those that don't, don't. And that's why you're investigators, to find out. But it's a very, very, it's like stepping back in the time. All the buildings, the way it's set. So, this area here. Oh, yes. And many, many claims of paranormal activity. Basically, seeing a mother and a holding a little girl over in this area, over here seeing a little girl appear and vanish so yes this is also a location that's very very interested interesting and what to you what to you by me Ed Shannon and the woods there it goes out into the woods very very interesting we actually held a circle of energy back there my circle of energy in the woods and we were getting gusts of winds in the circle, but they were coming from below our feet. And things started flying through the air. So yeah, this is also spiritual Native American property at one time, ground. It used to be. So, some more Native American history, locations, and sacred land.